Ping Pop was the first uh, festival we ever played in Europe. I had always refused to play festivals because I, I hated the ones in America. They have some good ones in America now, Coachella and uh, like Bonnaroo, but they used to all just be radio festivals. So it was all one kind of music. There would never be anything like this, where like you'd have ar artist friendly, organized for the artists to hang out, you know, meet each other. It's such a communal experience, all the European festivals, really. Um, and I'd never seen anything like that before, and I, I just didn't want to play them. It's all like VIP backstage radio people in America, and all the music's the same. It's all the same kind of music, and I, it just didn't interest me. And then I got talked into playing Pink Pop, and uh, kind of against my wishes. And we came here, because I, I liked Holland a lot. You know, we'd always done, I liked our audience here, but we weren't that big. And then we played Pink Pop, and it was just fantastic. And we went out on stage and killed that day. Um, and uh, the next thing we knew, we came back here and we're an arena band. You know, now it's not Paradiso or Milkweg anymore. It's uh, it's suddenly the Heineken Hall. You know, I mean, and I realized very right, right at that point that it's a whole different thing over here. American audiences come for the headliners, but festival audiences in Europe will come at noon. They're there for the whole day. They're into hearing a bunch of different kinds of music. So you don't need to be the headliner. If you're third on the bill, you're doing yourself almost more good because, uh, you know. If you're playing early in the day, you know, 90-something percent of the people aren't there to see you. But, so that means you can increase your fans by 10 times the amount they were. When you, and you want to be the headliner, but when you're the headliner, it's already lost most of your fans, you know. So, you know, it's kind of great. The good we did ourselves playing early on festivals in our life is, you know, incomparable. So after that, I was just like, let's play every festival. It's so much fun. I met all these musicians. You know, I became friends with the guys in Gomez and Travis and Oasis. You know, every we met everybody all the summers. Cypress Hill, I played so many festivals with Cypress Hill, you know. And I, you know, I'm a big fan of theirs, so it's cool, you know. Verter, last time we played Verter, De La, I, Amy and I went there at noon. De La Soul, Supergrass, Stereophonics, Cardigans, Los Lobos, Cypress Hill, Us or Coldplay, I can't remember, and then REM. Now that is a day of music, and we watched the whole day. You know, we were there all, I have pictures of, uh, I'm on stage, I have all these pictures of, uh, of De La Soul and Cypress Hill. I have pictures of everybody from all day long. It was really cool.